to touch the sun, NASA is having to shatter records of space exploration. The Parker Solar Probe is racing past our star at 435,000 miles an hour, the fastest object ever built by humans. It's just 3.8 million miles from the surface that's within the sun's corona, its scorching atmosphere. The spacecraft's heat shield will top 1,400 degrees. If it survives, it'll send a signal back to Earth in a few days' time, an anxious wait for mission scientists. Looking forward to that, watching that, you know, the first beacon come to the ground uh, on the 27th of December. But on the other hand, I'm pretty comfortable that we will hear good news and get more data from the spacecraft. You sound like a proud parent. <laughs> yeah, it's like a baby to me. <laughs> it could measure, in principle, magnetic field from an MRI machine from one side of London to the other. Goodness me. Scientists at Imperial College London use highly sensitive instruments on spacecraft to study the sun. On a previous, more distant orbit of the Parker probe, they discovered sharp kinks in the sun's magnetic field, which generate the solar wind, a million mile an hour stream of particles that drives the aurora on Earth, but is also a threat. The radiation can uh, damage astronauts, it can knock out satellites, and it even has effects on the ground, for example, in the power grid. So by understanding how the solar wind is made and how it carries the magnetic field out into interplanetary space, we hope in the long run to be able to make better predictions about what's going to arrive at the Earth. This will be Parker's closest of 24 planned orbits of the Sun. One remaining mystery is how its atmosphere reaches a million degrees when the surface is a mere 6,000. The sun is the only star known to support life, and to understand it, scientists are having to fly up close. Thomas Moore, Sky News.